Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of our God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Ah, oh, we give you praise, God. And we give you all the glory. And we honor your Father and worship you, the living God, the sustainer of us, our pains and strength and everything that God, life has to do with. You are the sustainer, Lord. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. God, we give you glory and we give you our hearts by the God. We give you everything that we think about. Our hopes, our dreams, our goals. Oh, Jesus. We surrender them, God, and believe by faith that you will lift us up to higher ground. God, as we now are in the new year, a new year, a new decade, 2020, God, 2019 slipped away, and it, uh, the year that has passed has brought so many different things, challenges, blessings, and all that hurt and sickness and pain and ah, samoya. All of that came. God, but it has passed, and we are now in a new year, God, our Father. Newness of life, mighty God. New mercies. Hallelujah. 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 New mercies, Jesus. We thank you for new mercies, and we give you praise, and we give you glory, Lord, for what you have in store for us. Mighty God, only if we could see behind the curtains of our lives. Oh yes, God, then we would praise you. Oh, we would burst forth. And we would glorify your holy name. Then Father God, I pray now that you will open the eyes of your people. Huh? That they will see behind the curtains in their future as you have ordained it mighty God open their eyes God and as you open their eyes open their hearts to praise you the living God to give you thanks Heavenly Father we praise and we honor and we glorify oh yes we magnify your name a name that is above every name Hallelujah. Take this word, Lord God. Take it now. It's yours. And do as you please. I'm your vessel. Do as you please with me, mighty God. Anoint me afresh. Hallelujah. Hey, that I, God, that I will speak. God, as you utter your speech through me. Hallelujah. Humble me also, God. That you alone will be glorified. And give your people peace in their hearts, O oh God, as they adhere, as thus said the Lord. We thank you and praise you one more time and give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord and Savior and God's children. We'll agree and say, Amen and Amen. I will not hesitate, church, but to entitle this message, Break forth, for thou art loose. Break forth, mm -hmm. for thou art loose. Amen. And we talk about 2019, that it has brought so many different things, so, so many different situations, challenges yes. that came our way. Yes. And God was still gracious yes. 
in the whole process because he kept us no matter how we were challenged no matter what came to us or against us we are here alive and we are celebrating a new year a new decade 2020 ha huh. and every time i say 2020 i'm thinking double Amen. for all the trouble Hallelujah. that we went through trust me i don't know i i got that yeah and i have to pass it on everything that you went through hmm. i say god is going to give you double Amen. for your trouble that's what 2020 means for me and i'm passing it on because it is a time for god's people to rejoice Hallelujah! it's a time for us to praise god yes and to give him the glory, church. I don't know about you, but I have a spirit of praise inside of me. Because every time when God brought me to this word in Isaiah 54, and when he showed me the word of God, the children of Israel, uh, because of their infidelity, my God, they were led uh, uh, to the Ethiopian as an Assyrian oppression for years. As they were forced into exile and dispersion because of their disobedience. Their disobedience. And in the prophetic acclamation of Isaiah, God's people now were likened to, uh, to as a disgraced woman who was destitute. We read the word of God, and I'm going to go over it again. Um, but God Almighty in his loving kindness and tender mercies now was about to extend his unending grace to his chosen people as Isaiah the prophet signaled the need for for Israel to break forth into singing and crying aloud for her deliverance was about to be manifested. Amen. So I'm here to tell you church this morning Amen. that you are to break forth My Lord. for the Lord loose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't receive it it's up to you. I can't receive it for you. But I'm just telling you what God gave me for this church to preach it and it to go beyond the walls of the church for those who will watch the message via the internet. Isaiah 54 captured what God had hidden behind the curtain for his chosen people because they were in a desolation my God Almighty. And the word of God says sing O barren sing O barren you who have not born because they were laying there desolate for years and the word says break forth into singing and cry aloud you who have not labored with child for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman says the lord god of hosts he says enlarge 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 the place of your tent enlarge it oh yes and he says let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings do not spare lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes for you shall expand to the right and to the left and your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. Oh God Almighty, I say for 2020, God is calling for his people to enlarge your tent. Hallelujah. Stretch out your curtains. Those who were in a little box for years. Hallelujah. Those who were bound for years with different situations. Hallelujah. I said, here's a proclamation coming to you now to stretch out and launch your tent. For the new year is brand new. Coming with new mercies, new blessings for your people, my God Almighty. Oh, 
Lord in strength. He is ready to make a move for you and I. Yes. I see this is a year of excitement. Yes. It is a year of blessings. Yes. Every time I say 2020, I feel something move inside of me. Oh, yes. And it's for God's people to get that. We talk about this woman in Luke 13 from 10 to 17. And the word of God says that Jesus was in the synagogue on a Sabbath day teaching. And this woman, my God, had a spirit of infirmity. Yes. The spirit of infirmity had her bound. And you got to understand when someone is bound, you see. And sometimes we have to understand by just demonstrating it physically. A person who is bound, mm. my God Almighty, and you're tied up. Mm. You're tied up and you can't move. You're put in a place. Come here, brother. I help me tie up myself. Because you have to understand. And you have to understand when the physical, when you see something in the natural, yes. you will understand that. The woman was bound with infirmity. Mm. Tied up and couldn't move himself, my child self, my God Almighty. And the woman was in her place for 18 years. And she bent down. And she can't lift up herself. She can't move. She can't praise God. She can't do nothing what God says she should accomplish. Anybody look like this? You want to do this and you can't do it? And, and, and there came a time when Jesus came and saw the woman. Oh yes, and Jesus looked at her. And Jesus says, Oh woman, throw her loose. Break forth. Oh, break forth. Get out of all this nonsense that wrap you up. Come out of it and praise me and give me the glory of oh, God Almighty. And get out of this bondage. And when God, you imagine you tied up, my God Almighty, with spiritual infirmity. If God, you were tied up by the devil for years and then you get loose, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to keep it to yourself. You're going to stay at home and don't do nothing. You're going to jump and prance. And you're going to say, praise God. You're going to give God the glory. You're going to give him the honor. You're going to give him thanks, my God Almighty, for him to set you free. And that's what the word of God says. But when God sets you free, when he, I'm here to caution you. Do you see when God set you free? And when God blesses you in a way, you're going to have some naysayers. Yes! I'm here to tell you, when God is ready to lift you up yes. and to establish you and to, to give you double for you all your trouble, you're going to have some folks who sit and they're going to say, wait, it's how she get up there. Yes. It's how, how come she is she so blessed? How is it that she is able or he is able to do all of that? And I had spoken some things about her or him that they must stay in the dumps or they must stay in this little box that they are not supposed to come out of this little box. I am proclaiming some things that are happening to folks. Some people who speak things about you. Some people who go my God Almighty to have you locked up and bound and stay in your place. But God has given you victory. Hallelujah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hallelujah. He has let you free. He says you have to break forth. Yes, Lord. And because the word loose, you no longer have to walk with your head down, but walk with authority. Walk, my God Almighty, and give him God the praise and give him all the glory. Because all that you went through, mm, mm, mm. Hmm. my Lord, hmm. all that you went through, church, sometimes, take it from me. Despite that the devil meant it for evil, God is going to turn, hmm. is going to turn it around. Hallelujah. And may good come out of it. Amen. Because if you have to have some enemies sometimes. Yes. For them to see the glory and power Hallelujah. of God. 
Because when they think that you should be there here, and when God extends your, 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 your uh, broaden your sticks and lengthen your cords and enlarge your tent, they're going to say, wait a minute. How did he get up there? How did she get there? How is it possible? And then you're going to say, I serve a God. Hallelujah. I serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. I serve a God who is able. I serve a God who is over all gods. And that is the God who kept me up there. He's the God who has lent in my stakes. And he has enlarged my tent. Yes, they had some folks. And these were religious folks. When Jesus Christ set free this woman. Who was born? You would think that they were would, would be happy for this woman. Mm -hmm. They thought they saw the woman suffering for years. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you that not everybody is going to be happy for Amen. you. Ho ho ho! The lot of folks, my God, they're not going to be pleased. Amen. <laughs> they're not going to be pleased. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh yes. And when they see God elevate you and set you up, <laughs> oh, they wish they could tear you back down. Yes. But anybody who God sticks it up, Hallelujah. and when he reinstates you and set you in place, tell the devil in hell to come and pull you down back. Tell the devil in hell to change what God has done. Oh, yes. They have to look at you. My Lord. And some of them will come and pretend mm -hmm. like they love you uh -huh. and they're happy for you. <laughs> but you don't be fooled by that, says the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. You stand your watch. Mm -hmm. Stand your watch. Mm -hmm. Stand your watch and continue to praise your God. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. When you see them looking at you and they think, oh, I wish I could have get her and him down back in the dumps. Mm -mm -mm. How did he or she get mm -mm -mm. up there? Mm -mm. Who did it? Mm -hmm. How is it that we had conversations mm -hmm. for years where the limit should be? My Lord. We have established a boundary mm -mm -mm. for her or for him. So how is it that they have extended beyond that boundary? Something is wrong. Ho, ho, ho. Tell them that Jesus Christ, the Son of the God of heaven and earth, has break forth all the bondage. Thank you, Jesus. And mess up the boxes. Hallelujah. The boxes have been broken Thank up. Thank you, Jesus. And you are let loose mm -mm -mm. to accomplish as God says you must accomplish. Oh, when the time has come, Israel was taken out of captivity. Mm -hmm. And no matter what they did to keep them. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. God says it's time. Mm -hmm. Oh it's time. I hear the spirit of God say it's time. Mm -hmm. Oh it's time for you to expand beyond limits. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So shall they fear mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. From the going down of the rising of the sun. Oh God Almighty, when they rise up against you like a flood, oh yes, the Spirit of God shall raise up a standard against your enemies. And we give God the praise and the glory, church, because God is working on our behalf. I just love the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Every time I profess my love for God, I'm overwhelmed with tears, you see. Hallelujah. Because I know that sometimes folks don't write your future for you. And when they put in the future, my God Almighty, oh, some of them write death in your future. They want to wipe you out. But guess what? You're still... And that is why David 
said it. David proclaimed it because when David realized what he went through, when David realized that Saul wanted to kill him and to rob him of the throne that God had already proclaimed for him and, and got his own son, his own child who wanted to take him out. And when David saw that he escaped all the traps of his adversaries, David wrote in Psalm 124, and I love that scripture you say, because the word of the scripture says, if it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side, oh yes, let Israel now say, if it had not been for the Lord, who was on our side, when men rose up against us, and they would have swallowed us alive. My Lord. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. And then the swelling waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, church, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. God is not about to give us totally to our enemies. Amen. And we got to praise God for Amen. that. When enemies are enemies <laughs> and they are right in your arbitrary, God is saying, wipe it out. Amen. You can't touch that. Amen. Don't bother to touch that. Amen. And if we look at our lives sometimes, and we see the things that we go through on our journey as we journey, mm -hmm. the things that we face consistently, mm -hmm. the battles that are fought, my God Almighty, the things that the devil puts us through, and we always come out with flying colors. Amen. We always get through it. Thank you. Why? Jesus. Because God Almighty and the creator of heaven and earth is on our side. He is on our side, church. He is on our side. So no matter what they blow, no matter what they say, these naysayers, no matter what they want to connive, mm -hmm. no matter what they want to plan, mm -hmm. I want you as God's people mm -hmm. and to be very confident yes. in your God yes. and to know that whatever God purpose in your life, mm -hmm. that it is going to come to pass. Amen. Whatever God wrote about you before the foundations of the earth, it might have some ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And some corners, you have to go around corners. And, and you might have to sometimes go on the bridges and, and, and on top of the mountains and, and in the valleys. But guess what? You see, when the appointed time comes, you're going to break forth. Amen. Because God Almighty, when he let loose his promises, no one can ever tell you what God has let loose. Amen. What God has let loose, man has to look at it and let it run Amen. its course, you see. And I give God the praise and the glory. Because Isaiah 54 captures that too. Because the word says, behold, in verse 16 and 17, behold, I have created the black cement who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the spoiler to destroy. He says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. I see some big guns <laughs> form at some folks. <laughs> In the spirit, I see some M16s pointing at some of God's people. Weapons of mass destruction. They're aimed at God's people. <laughs> but the word of God says, no weapon formed mm, mm, mm. against yes. you shall prosper. Thank you, Lord. And every tongue, the naysayers that rises against you in judgment, mm. you will condemn. 
My Lord. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Yes, Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. So he continues to say, do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth. And will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. For the Lord has called you like a woman forsaken. And grieved in spirit. Like a youthful wife when you were refused says your God. For a mere moment I have forsaken you, but with great mercies I will gather you. With a little wrath I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness I will have mercy on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. There are so many of God's people uh, who have been boxed up yes. for many years. Yes. Just recount your life. Mm -hmm. huh. There are times when you were doing very well sometimes. And the devil stole everything from you. And he has now made you to be sane. Mm -hmm. There was a time, I remember. There was a time that I was. But God is going to turn it around. Amen. Take it from your church. You got to believe God. Amen. The things that and who you were at a time. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of folks that sometimes in their life they were calling the shots. They were doing quite a bit. Mm -mm -mm. They were able to do more than you could ever understand. And the devil has subverted that. My Lord. He has stolen that from you. My Lord. But the time is at hand. My Lord. When God Almighty, mm -mm -mm. the creator of heaven and earth, mm -mm -mm. is going to change that. Amen. He has some folks sometimes, my God. You're at a place that sometimes you feel like you're losing your mind. He plays with the mind of God's people. Because sometimes you look back at your life and you think, what, what does it make sense for me to continue? Why? What, what is so important about my life? You, you are not able to see beyond the things that are happening to you right now. But God Almighty the creator of heaven and earth has sent you this message today yes. that you are to break forth into sin. Amen. Hallelujah. In anticipation Amen. of God's uh, mercy and his grace. In anticipation of his blessings, my, my God Lord. Almighty. Because who God blesses, no man can Amen. curse, Amen. you see. And who, my God Almighty, he has let loose, no man can tie them up again. <laughs> Hallelujah! And it's enough to praise God for. It is enough to give him the glory, church. Amen. It is enough to break forth in singing, my God. And for whooping and giving God thanks that he is ultimate sayer in your life. Amen. That he is God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and that whatsoever he speaks, that it will get done, that it will accomplish whatever it started out to be. You, it might be delayed, my God Almighty, but it's not the end. Oh, yes, I'm here to tell you that you might go through some obstacles in your life, but it's not your final bus stop. You're going to move beyond. Yes, God never expect you to pass in that place. Oh, you are there temporarily. It's a temporary stop. You need to just tell yourself, oh, look, 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 it was temporary stop for me. I am ready to move now. I'm ready to break forth into singing. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. For I am ready. I'm loose. I'm loose. I'm loose. Oh, and I'm going to give God the praise and the glory. Amen. 
I'm going to give him the praise and the glory. We got to give God thanks yes. in anticipation. Hallelujah. For his blessings. Mm -mm -mm. And I am going to encourage you to pray and ask God to open your eyes just a little bit. And that you can get a glimpse of what he has in store yes, for you. Lord. And that it is enough to lift you up out of that dump, my yes, God Almighty. Lord. That it is enough to lift you up and lift up your spirit. And that you can give him praise and give him thanks. Oh, I can't take it, I can't take it, I can't take it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Some folks are going to praise God. Oh, you're going to give him the glory when you see some things done. Oh, yes, your life is going to change significantly. I'm saying. And I'm proclaiming it. Oh God Almighty, how you started. You're not going to end like that. 2019 is gone. And 2020 is double for all your trouble. I am speaking it as all the Spirit of God says to speak it unto you. You cannot be in your situation like that forever. Says the Spirit of God. My Lord. If you think you're at a place and you see yourself like this is it. I want you to look again. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> look again. My Lord. And you see some of us have to be able to look in the spirit mm -hmm. realm. To encourage ourselves. My Lord. I think the problem with God's people as the spirit is saying that. They, they love to look at their situation around them. The physical things that they are seeing. Because it, it, it's natural, you see. That's mm. all you can see. My Lord. Here is God telling you that you, you must break forth and, uh, because you're loose. But yet you feel like you're still tied up. My Lord. You feel like, because it, it, it's real church. Because the, the situation reminds you every day. You, you come out of church and when you go, you, your situation is real. You're looking at it. Oh, so Pastor, because how can I, uh, how can I break forth and I'm still bound? My Lord. The Spirit of God is saying to you that I have power to do it and I'm going to do it. I've already done it. Yeah. But it is for you sometimes to praise God out of yes. the situation. Yes. To take yourself out of the bondage, my like God Almighty. Because if the devil is able to keep your mind at a place and all he does is widen your eyes to see your, your, your condition. Oh, you're going to continue to remain there. You're not going to be able to break forth into singing, my God. As I told the children of Israel to break forth because Isaiah saw it that it was going to happen, you see. And he proclaimed it before it took place. And ah, God is sending you a word. You on your situation and continue to look at it. You need to look beyond it. Amen. Uh, the things that you are anticipating. What are your dreams? What are your ideals? What are your goals? Those are the things you keep your eye. Oh God Almighty, I'm looking at my, my situation and I see all kind of trouble. I don't see any nothing good. Uh, but I am trusting you, God, uh, that you told me to break forth. Uh, I'm let loose. Oh, and I'm going to do it by faith and believe that God has already done it. For 2020 is a year of double for your trouble, church. 2020 is a new year. Oh, it's a year of beginning. It's a year of goodness and faithfulness. It's a year, my God Almighty, when no limitations will be able to keep you back in, and that you can expand and have your dreams. Look beyond the stars, my God Almighty. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. God's people have to get to that place. My Lord. You have to get to that place. Mm -hmm. No one can see for you. God can only show them what it's for you to see it. God can send a word to proclaim it. And it is for you to receive it. And, and, and that's the whole thing. Is that God does not want his people to continue to be in a place of nothingness. A place of low bar. My Lord. 
a place of low power. Yes, my God Almighty. Saul's grandson, my God, was lame for years. Met Timoth, met Fibosheth. What was for years from he was a child? He, he he fell, my God, and got and got lamed from then. And the word of God says that he was in a place of loaded power. His maid brought him there and left him there to stay. And Mephibosheth thought that that was his end until David and I take on the throne. He took on the throne. He took on the throne. And he asked the question: Is there anybody in Saul's family that I can show favor? To her. Oh, God is going to show you favor, 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 favor. Oh, I'm proclaiming it, I'm proclaiming it. And the word of God says that somebody says, Oh, Saul had a grandson, Mephibosheth, who is in a place low depart. You got to understand what low depart is. It is a place down there of nothingness. Oh, you can't look up because you appear bound for years, for years, for years. But the word of God says, Saul, so David says, Come bring the boy. Bring that man to me. Bring the young man. Bring him. Bring him and sit him at my table that he might eat uh, at my table. Can you imagine? The guy's life changed just like that. Just like that in a second. Today he woke up and uh, not knowing where he's going to eat, what he's going to eat. Uh, and the next thing he was sitting at the king's table. Amen. Oh, God is ready to break forth. Amen. For his people. And I'm sure that. When David sent message, words for them to bring Mephibosheth unto him, that the young man was trembling. Mm -hmm. Because somebody might have told him what, what Saul did to David, you yeah. see. And, and even though it was good news, mm -hmm. he perhaps was nervous. You see, sometimes God send you good news to you, but you still can't take it. You can't, oh, you're wondering Lord. about it, you oh, see. Lord, yes. Yes, you're still wondering. Is it true? My Lord. Because Mephibosheth must have said, yeah, well, this is it. How did David, how did the king know that I was still alive? Yeah. How did he know that I was in loaded bar? Mm. He is about now to take me out because of my grandfather. Mm. But it was a time that a call to lift him up. My Lord. And God, that's what it that's what happens sometimes when you're in your situation so long mm. and God is sending good news for you, you can't mm. even receive it. My Lord. Because how can it be? Is this possible? Mm. This is all I know for a long time. Bondage. But you are let loose, the word of God says, and that you should break forth and enlarge your tent. I love that word. Mm -hmm. The enlarging of your tent. Amen. Lengthen your stakes. My Lord. Broaden your horizon. Mm -mm -mm. Make new, new goals. Set new goals. Goals that are high in the sky. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Set some goals that you, you think that what am I crazy to be setting those goals? Set some goals. Go home and write some things down. And believe God that he will do it. For he's going to do it. That's how you grab what God is saying to you. I'm sure every one of you in here have ideals. You have some things in your mind that you would love to get done in your life. Yeah. I would love to be at this place. Yeah. Go home and write them down, said the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. I dare you do it. Mm -hmm. Take the leap of faith. Yeah. And write them. And you see when you write them, the Spirit said take it and put on your walls. Mm. Paste them up. Every morning you wake up. Oh, I'm going to this. I want that. I'm getting that from the Lord. Until you believe it. Amen. Write them so that they can become frontlets in your eyes. Amen. Every walk you walk, as you wake up in the morning and you, walk, you look at it. I want this. I want to be in my new home. Write it down. The Lord says I'll be getting it. Write it down until you believe it in your spirit. And receive what God is saying to you. That's the only way you can get it done church. Because you got to believe what God is saying. Amen. Unto you. 
Oh, you afflicted. Hmm. Isaiah 54 continues to say it. Oh, you afflicted one. Tossed with tempest and not comforted. Behold, I will lay your stones with colorful gems and lay your foundations with sapphires. I will make your pinnacles of rubies, your gates of crystal, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. In righteousness you shall be established, and you shall be far from oppression. For you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. So all the naysayers who assemble against you as God's people, God says that they're going to fall. Amen. He's going to close the mouth. Amen. As how he closed the mouth of the lions Thank you, Jesus. that came to tear up Daniel. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We give God the praise and the glory, church. And I'm going to use Ephesians 3 from 14 to 21 to close this message. And for this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. From whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. And that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. And to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love. May be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth. And height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. May God help you to know his riches Amen. and his plans for your life. Yes, Lord. And now to him who is able hey, to do exceedingly abundantly above all Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Hallelujah. I say no to him, to God Almighty, the King of Kings, the creator of heaven and earth, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we or think according to the power that works in us. To him be the glory in the church of Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever and ever and ever. Hey! Hey! Power, hallelujah! And ever! Hallelujah! Jesus! Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ever ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever and ever. Lord. And ever. Hallelujah. Mm, yes, ever. Lord. Amen. Hey, we praise you God. Mm. Hey, we worship you. Oh Lord God of hosts, we magnify your holy name and honor you, Father of fathers, creator of God, almighty, omnipotent God. Ah, oh, 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 Jesus, hallelujah, hey, we praise you, we praise you, God. We praise you this day and we give you thanks, Father, for all that you have already spoken. Hey, Lord. for the heights that you will bring us to, Lord, and for new mercies, for blessings untold. Hey, we give you praise for the unseen, mighty God, by faith. 
we receive. Oh, glory be to God, by faith. It's not what we see, Lord, but what we perceive in the spirit. We give you praise and we give you thanks. Help us to break forth from our bondages, oh God. Set us loose in the spirit. Set our faith loose, almighty God. And let your name be ever glorified in us and through us. Hallelujah. We give you praise, O oh God. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hey, we give you glory, Lord, and honor you, the living God. And we worship at your footstool and exalt you, O King, O righteous, holy, worthy God. We honor you and give you high praises. Hey, we give you high praises, Lord. And we give you all the glory. In no other name. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our Lord and Savior and God's children. We'll agree and say and receive also. And say amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. We give God the praise and we thank him. For his faithfulness. We thank him for his love. And we thank him for his grace and mercy. We thank him this day that we have been speared because of his abundant love. We thank him, church. We, ha we have to fall into a mode of thankfulness to give God thanks and to give him all the glory. And to give him the honor and the power and the dominion. For he is Jehovah God. He is creator God. There is nothing or no situation that we go through can supersede God's power. He has power and authority over them all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Hey, we praise you, God, and worship you one more time, O oh God, and honor you and uh, bow in your presence, O oh Lord God of hosts. We magnify your name and praise you, O oh living God, and exalt you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise and thank you and worship you again, and we bow in your presence and we surrender all our fears and our unbeliefs. We surrender them at the throne of grace. Oh. We surrender them, Lord, at Calvary's cross. And we pray, God, that you will have your way. Have your way in our hearts, have your way in our lives, have your way in our motives, have your way in our actions, in our deeds. In our thoughts, have your way, O oh, high and lifted up God. And conquer, Lord, all our fears, our doubts. Put them under subjection. And your name will be forever glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior again and God's children, will agree and say, Amen and Amen.